The vast majority of today's program will be wrapped around the high line. QMB is our fusible pan. And compared to sales volume uh, against NQNF and I line, QMB is significantly lower. Uh, however, there are pockets around the country that sell a lot of fusible panel boards. And then I've got a couple of slides at the very end about QMB. So let's talk about I line. And I line is unique in the industry. Um, we talk about this unique bus bar arrangement first, and we're just going to cover this page top to bottom. And when you look at this I-Line bus stack, the phasing of the bus bars are AC front to back. Um, whereas if you think about NQ, NF, and every other panel board in the industry, QO and home line included, the phasing of the bus bars are ABC left to right. You go to the National Electrical Code, the NEC does address bus bar arrangement. And what the National Electrical Code says is the bus bar arrangement of electrical products shall be ABC top to bottom. And that would apply to switchboards, motor control centers, those types of products. Then it goes on to say ABC left to right, and that would be NQ, NF, QMB, and all of our competitors panels. And then it goes on to say the bus bar arrangement can also be ABC front to back. And so as you look at this illustration on the right hand side, the back pan is the back of the box. The, the front of that bus stack, you see a, a, a nut there. That nut is holding that bus stack together. And then you have breakers plugging into both the left and the right side. And actually I-Line, when it was first introduced, was mimicked after I-Line Busway. So that is a modified uh, busway stack in, in a way. And it does make it very unique in, in the industry. And there's other things that make I-Line unique against the competition as well. As we drop down this list on the left-hand column, 600 volt AC, 250 volt DC, if you're in a, in a DC market, 1200 amp main breaker and a main lug. And I, when I talk about panel boards with folks, and I talk about all of the panel boards that we manufacture, and we talk about the maximum parameters of voltages and ampacities and branch breakers, et cetera, I always say that I line's the easiest because the maximum parameter is 600 volt, 1200 amp. And even though this slide says 1200 amp main lug and main breaker, that 1200 amp also applies to branch breaker, subfeed breaker, subfeed lugs, feed through lugs, everything within an I-Line panel board has a, a maximum value of 1,200 amps. 200,000 amps uh, short circuit current rating uh, with a series rating in I-Line requires only a straight blade screwdriver to install. And if you've never seen a I-Line breaker installed or did one yourself, we estimate about 20 seconds to install an I-Line breaker. I typically can do one in less than 20 seconds. Whereas our competitor's breakers take, we estimate about 20 minutes to install. So if you're talking to a contractor and you're talking about labor savings and you're doing a comparison of 20 seconds to install a breaker versus 20 minutes, you're probably going to catch their attention. And we're going to go in more detail on how easily that breaker installs a little bit later on. The breakers are plug-on breakers only. They plug onto the bus bar. However, you'll see later they also bolt on to the mounting pan. So if you're dealing with what I'm going to call a migrant spec where possibly some bolt-on verbiage has gotten into that spec, typically that bolt-on connector onto the mounting pan can get you around that particular spec. However, the current carrying component of the breaker itself is a plug-on connector. Branch breaker flexibility, mounting flexibility. We can take a 1200 amp R-frame breaker and mount it directly across from a 15 amp H-frame breaker. 
no one else in the industry can make that statement. And we'll talk about the competitors, other manufacturers in flexibility a little bit later on as well. Field convertibility from top to bottom feed, same thing as what we talked about with NQ and NF. If I have a bottom feed panel and it's main lug and I want to make a top feed, it's a simple one-step operation. I merely invert it, turn it upside down. With the main breaker, in most cases, I have to then invert the main breaker as well. Thank you.